Welcome back YouTube. Welcome back to another episode. I'm not going to be writing, so yeah, because I am injured. I don't know if you can make that out. But yeah, I won't be out for a while. So, I figured what time we freshen up the rig and we just get it all tuned and getting it smooth again. So today's episode we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do your front wheel bearings for your rolling smooth on that front wheel. So with a little with a little bit of camera magic the wheel will be off and We'll get to it, so, and just like that, the front wheel's off. So, before we can even start, we have to take the pegs off. So, using the same tool for me is the 15 mule spanner socket, whatever. So I'll just take these off and we'll continue. All right, pegs are off. Now, hang on, let's get this going. Now, now you'll notice there's another nut and then what looks like another nut right behind it so hang on let's see if I can get a camera angle of this Where is it? there's two sort of nuts back there one this is where special tools will come into play because as you'll see shifters and all that just won't fit under it so I'm lucky enough to have lock nuts, tools, uh, disc, cone, uh, disc cones, whatever they're called. So I'm able to slide that straight on, making sure it's the right side, which is that side. So, yeah. So yeah, the first nut is a lock nut. The second one, it's not a nut, but it is. It just holds the bearings in there. So what you want to do is just holding the, I can't even think of the name, the bearing housing nut and just crack this lock nut. Ah, there she goes. Now you'll be able to just undo that nut. Alright, sorry, this keeps dropping in and out. Kids, responsibilities. Now, where was I? That's right. Now, so you've unlocked it you should be able to just undo this nut with your fingers oh, come on right. now as you see it's more or less just it's more or less just a nut nothing special really put that to the side keeping it always always make sure you keep your stuff together in order that way you know exactly how it all goes back just smarter but now that you've got that lock nut off grabbing your 
cane nut, I think that's what it's called, a cane nut tool. Bring it back on that cane nut and just turn it. Now, remember to keep pressure on the bottom, otherwise you're going to lose your bearings everywhere. And that's something we don't want to do. So, slowly just pull that off. And I'm keep it on the ground, on the box, whatever you need, you've got it on. And just undo it. Um, I'll come back once it's done. I'm not even going to use camera mode here. Mm, yeah, why not? Here we go. Alright, you that's gross. Got her off. As you can see, she is filthy. So, that needs a good cleaning. Oh, I mean, a good cleaning. Now, you'll be able to see, let's get a better angle, the bearings. Now, mine are looking dry so that is why I'm giving it a good service now before the 5th of next month hopefully the 6th I'll be out riding again cross fingers so now that you got the lock nut off the bearing code housing mm. sounds good to me off you'll notice so much movement now this is where the tricky part comes into it finding another rag and turn over the bearing And everything just falls apart. Now you, you can, now you can pull your axle out. Don't worry about the other side, as that's more or less where you want to make it go back in. So keeping this side all together will help you. Don't stress. You can pull it all apart if you want, but there's really no point. You can still get in there, you can still clean. This side looks a lot cleaner than the other one. There we go, I think. Maybe this camera. This one looks a lot cleaner than when we actually removed. So now that you've got the lock nut off, the bearing housing nut, I know I keep changing the name, your axle out, matter of finding all your bearings, try and keep them all together, because nothing worse than losing bearings. That's one side, hopefully, we'll soon find out. Flip it over again, and underneath, just to be on the safe side. Alright, all the bearings are out of one side. Oh, these ones don't want to come out. Okay, we'll find a little... This will be. Now we'll just pop them out. One more. Alright. Making sure you haven't lost any. Put them to the side. Like I said, you do not want to lose one bearing. One bearing means you need new bearings. Alright. 
Now we got the bearings out, we got the axle out, we got all the components out. We started getting covered in grease. Uh, now we get rags and we clean out every inch of grease out of here, out of the other side and wipe down all parts. So I'll get to that. Won't bore you with it. If I do anything special I'll let you know but here we go. Alright, Every, everything's clean, all smooth, all smooth. Did notice a few problems, but that's not going to faze me really. But on the inside of these, you can see, uh, see the little, little love bites. That was because I had my rim done up too tight so I wasn't rolling properly. So this part of the whole process can be a bit tricky. But just remember, just keep going. You'll be fine. So, alright. Everything's nice and clean. But if these are being a problem for you, you can buy a new ones. That's all I'm going to say. You can buy new ones. All the bearings are clean. They're all in good shape. Still nothing wrong with them. Best part is always keep them separate because I don't know if out or heard. They wear down differently. You're heavier on one side than you are so one side will wear down more than the other side. So try and keep them together. Remember which side they came off and for me. I don't. But some people do. So now that we've done all that, we put them all to the side again. Now the fun part. While I get this set, I'll be I'll be back. Get this all prepared. Uh, hang five. A few moments later. Now, now you got everything clean. You got grease. This is where the fun and really gross part comes into it. Grabbing your grease. And loading up inside of your hub now when doing this use grease use a lot of it more grease the better if you're flowing over the side doesn't matter you can clean it up. All right. That's one side done. Cleaning your fingers. I don't know why, but yeah. Grab one set of your bearings. And slowly place them in. Now, this rim only takes 9 bearings, some would take 10, a bit more than some, 
but they're all the same. Now once you've got your bearings placed, a bit more bit grease just over the top. Don't worry if you cover it up your centre hole, it's all good. Your axle will go straight through that. Now, now that that's all done, grabbing your axle, straight through, and that's one side done. Putting a bit of firmness on that side, flip it over. Then, right. Wipe off the excess grease on this side, because we don't need it. Well, it would have worked, but, and once again, grease up this side. I can't say it enough, don't be stingy on the grease. Load it. Grease is your friend. My books, there ain't enough grease in the world. <laughs> Alright, that side done. We put the bearings in again. Just double check, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bearings, all good. One. There goes the pegs. Nine bearings on the other side. Now, once again, a bit more grease, just to get them that little bit of lube over the top. You can never have enough grease. Alright. Now, this is where patience comes in which is what I'm still learning, so grabbing your bearing cap hub cap, whatever it's called just slowly screw it down now you don't want to tighten it all the way but you want it down there just to start with Making sure your axle thread is clean will also help with this process. The cleaner the axle thread, the easier it threads on. Alright, we're getting down there. Alright, now we're on. You will notice might even hear it there's still a bit of play so you can take that a little bit further this takes time but once it if you can get it it is worth it it will save you spending money to repair Okay. And I mean it's a little, a little bit more. Alright. That, that feels better. It's still loose, but that's where the lock dart comes in. So, give you have a bit of a wipe over. Get rid of all that excess grease. Not going to get rid of it all, but get rid of the majority of it. 
Now, lock nut goes straight back on. Now remember which side you took it off. Me, I'm a little bit lucky. I've still got a bit of the hydro dip paint job still all over it, so that helps me. Now tighten, pull that down. I won't even go into video magic on this part because this is the important part. Now, the nut is good. See how it rolls? Now you'll see that's a bit tight. So, As I rolled it, the bearing hub guard, whatever the hell it's got, I can't even think, tightened. So, you just, from where it was, which was about there, just back it up, just so it's loose. Lock that on, grab your shifter. Now, without moving the bearing hub, do hickety. Uh, which way is it? Just tighten your lock nut. That feels like I'm using the wrong side. Alright. And just tighten your lock nut without moving this one. It takes a bit of time, time to get used to working out. But, in the end, it's worth it. So, that as easy as it gets on re-greasing your front wheels and making sure it sounds good, it rolls good, and everything. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this, let me just clean out this little bit of grease. What about the other side? No, that's all good. All right. All right, that's all done. This is rolling nice. It could probably go a bit better, but it's rolling better than what it was. Nice and quiet. So yeah. So as I was saying, if you enjoyed this, drop a thumbs up. If it helped you in any way. If you got any other ideas on how to do it, drop it in the comments. Let me know. Then I'll give it a shot. But, yeah, next we'll be working on the rear wheels. Now, rear wheels, they're a bit hard. So, just that video could take a little bit more time to make than a front wheel. So, hopefully you're all ready. Hopefully there is nothing really wrong with me. And I'll be back out riding soon. So, to my next video or do I see you out riding? Peace out.